Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this double crochet mesh stitch which uh, you can see here in front of you. This is a very open lacy design. It has a grid like appearance uh, but it, because the stitches are worked one on top of the other it's fairly sturdy as well so it lends itself well to a variety of projects maybe a lacy car uh, cardigan or summer top or market bag as I've used it before. It's uh, the same on both sides. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 6mm crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you will find a direct link to the free written pattern that can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's uh, grab our hooks and yarn and we'll learn how to crochet this double crochet mesh stitch. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by working a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. For your foundation chain you're going to need an odd number of stitches plus three. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20 stitches. Fifteen and twenty. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working one double crochet stitch into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Into that sixth chain, work one double crochet. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. All the way across you'll work your final double crochet stitch into that final chain. At the end of row one you're going to chain four and turn your work. You're now set to begin row two. For row two your chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one stitch. So you're going to skip that first double crochet, skip the chain one space, and into the top of your next double crochet work one double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain one space, and work one double crochet into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one and double crochet all the way across to your um, former starting chain five from your row one. Once you come to that starting chain you're going to chain one, skip the next chain stitch and then into the next chain which would be the fourth chain in your starting chain you're going to work your double crochet stitch and that brings you to the end of your row two and that's it for this pattern for the rest of the pattern you're going to chain four turn your work and you're simply going to repeat your row two for as long as you would like. At the end you can then fasten off and weave in your ends and then enjoy your double crochet mesh stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I do hope I see you again next week. Until then happy crocheting. Bye! Mm -hmm.